Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Before we start today's video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. So today we're going to make hockey puck leveling feet for machines. And I want to dedicate this to the one man who's done more for hockey than any other man, and that would be Don Rickles. So I'm going to build some tables in the future for my chop saw, router table, and I need some kind of leveling feet. And I want them sort of rubber and they kind of isolate any vibration. And with the rubber, it won't mar the floor. If you put a steel or a wooden table on a concrete floor, certain types of year, it will suck up moisture and it'll either rust the steel table or water will penetrate the wood table and that's not good either. So I'm using half inch 13 bolts. So the parts are really simple here. A hockey puck, a bolt, a nut, and a fender washer. Fender washers are bigger diameter than most other washers. I like using the carriage bolts because they have this hex underneath the head, the same size as the threads. These are half inch 13 threads, half inch hex. So that will dig into the rubber and stop the bolt from turning. If you use a hex head cap screw, you have to go in with a socket and tighten that. I'm gonna eliminate that step. To drill the hole and the counter bore, I'm gonna use two bits. First is an inch and an eighth Fostner bit. I'm going in 300 thousandths depth. After that, half inch Fostner bit all the way through the part. I'm gonna show three different ways of doing this. One on the drill press, one on a lathe and one on a Bridgeport mill. Put down in the comments on how you would make them or what you think is the easiest. So first thing we gotta do is find the center of the hockey puck. So I'm using my center finder and a scribe. And these mark pretty good, surprisingly. So you can, hopefully you can see the center line marks there. I'm going to go in with a center punch and make a little punch mark. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. You just want to make them all look the same. So my first option is a drill press. Let's go over there and make some rubber chips. So here we are at the drill press. I have my punch mark on a Fostner bit. There's a little part that sticks up and let it fall into that punch hole. So I'm just gonna take that, find that punch mark and just bring my quill down. I have the fence in the back and that just helps with the location. So I'm gonna go in about 300 thousandths, a little less than 3 eighths. With the drill press, you really can't see how deep you're going. So now there's a little center mark there. And again, I'm gonna put that on to the center of the Fostner bit. Okay, I got it. I lost it. Okay, I got it again. And now we're gonna drill half inch all the way through. That went pretty easy because all you're doing is going all the way through. And I'm surprised the hockey puck doesn't spin, but I think this rubber adds some gription. So that's the first one on the drill press. I think it's a little bit harder than it has to be. Let's go over to the lathe. At the lathe, I have the hockey puck already in the chuck. And I'm already liking this better because I don't have to do any layout. The center of the chuck and the center of the Fostner bit are the same. My quill's a little easier to control. One revolution is 100 thousandths. So once I make contact with the part, 
I'll just count my revolutions three times and that should be good. Let's make some more rubber chips. Change over to my half inch fastener bit and we'll go all the way through the puck. I think that one worked a lot better because I didn't have to hold on to it and it was easier to control the depth. But let's go over to Bridgeport Mill. We're at the Bridgeport Mill and I'm is better than a drill press because the vice jaws have this in there pretty tight. You don't want to squish it too much and you won't get on center. For laying out, I had to put a center line in there again. If I want to do multiple parts, I can use a combination square to set the location. Then I won't have to do a layout on every part. I use my digital readout to control my depth. Let's make some rubber chips. Now we're doing a half inch bit all the way through. I have a piece of scrap wood, and that's gonna stop me from drilling into the vise. Once you see the wood chips come out, you know you're all the way through. I think that one's off center a little bit. I don't know if that's because it got squished in there. So here's the one I did in the drill press and I went a little deep. I had to do a layout line. Here's the one I did in the drill press and I'm surprised that that's off center so much. I think because when I squished it, I had to do the layout line. And here's the one from the lathe. No layout line, easy to do, easy to hold. With the three jaw chuck, it squishes it evenly and it keeps it better aligned with the Fostner bit. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make some hockey puck leveling feet. These are for some future projects of mine. The rest of the pucks here, I'm going to machine on the lathe. There's no layout line needed. I think it makes a better part because it's easier to control the depth of the counter bore and it's easier to get it on center line. Please subscribe if you haven't and tell your friends. Thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.